All right, so today me and Tom are suited up in these nice blue suits. And even though you would think it's for fashion, we really have a reason to be in these. So today's video, we're gonna cover a little bit about biosecurity and why biosecurity is so important. So with biosecurity, there are three key elements that we cover, and that is sanitation, traffic control, and isolation. So all components of our biosecurity fall under one of these three elements. Um, the first element that we'll talk about is sanitation. So we wanna keep these chickens healthy. That's the most important re thing and reason that we have biosecurity. That goes for backyard flocks and commercial operations. So with sanitation, we wanna make sure that me and Tom don't bring anything into this house that could hurt our chickens. And we also don't wanna bring anything out of this house that could potentially hurt other chickens, which is why we have our blue coveralls on, our shoes, and if we were gonna walk in the house, you'd also notice that I would put a hairnet on as well. Another element of sanitation is seen in this bucket. So you'll notice that there's a foot bath at the entrance of each of our houses. And you'll see these at all poultry farms. Some of them might have liquid and some of them might have more of a powder bleach substance, but these are meant to clean our feet off. So we would step in this bucket before going in the house and we would also step in this bucket coming out of the house, okay? So those are some elements of that sanitation. Also, keeping your grounds clean, keeping it swept, making sure we don't have any um, feed that's spilled, um, cleaning inside the houses after our flocks, all of those fall under that biosecurity and are put in place in order for us to keep our flock healthy and safe. Aside from sanitation, we also have isolation, which Tom can cover for you guys. Okay. In addition to what Jessica said, isolation is, is critical in terms of who gets in and out of your chicken houses, but also who gets in and off of your chicken farm. There's really not all that many folks that actually need to be on your farm. Yeah, you're going to have to be there. Your service tech for whoever you grow chickens for, they're going to have to be there. Feed truck drivers that bring feed, they'll be there. But outside of that, there's really not a very long list of folks that actually have any business on your farm or certainly inside your chicken houses. Most companies have some type of signage that are on all the doors of commercial chicken houses these days. They also have signage at the entrance where everyone pulls off the highway onto the farm. You'll see these little road signs in front of commercial chicken farms. Regardless of who the company is, the company name will be there, but it will also have the name of the farm and it'll have something like restricted area, do not enter, biosecurity area, something like that, that is warning people and telling them, you know, not to do this. You don't have any purpose there. Okay, we had to time out for a second. Our videographer has a deathly fear of wasps and one landed way too close. So we're back and we're gonna cover a little more about isolation. Okay, so we talked about signage both on the houses and at the road whenever someone pulls off the highway into a commercial chicken farm. We also have to worry about not only people that get in and out of that house, but what else can get in and out of that house. We don't want wild birds in that house. So again, check your eaves and make sure that you don't have spaces where sparrows or starlings or something else get in the, can get in there. Wild birds can carry a lot of diseases from farm to farm. They like to travel from farm to farm. Again, as Jessica mentioned, keep your feed cleaned up. If the feed truck driver spills a little bit of feed and that happens from time to time, clean that up because it's an attractant to wild birds. It's attractant to rodents and we don't want rodents any more than we want wild birds. All right, so along those lines, we're gonna walk down to the side of the house and we'll show you a little bit about how we keep that rodent population from getting in our house and causing all kinds of terror and havoc in the chicken house. Okay, so now we're on the side of our house and rodents are always a huge issue because we have the best house possible for a rodent. There's a lot in here, feed, water, shelter, that rodent populations can really take over. So we do a lot of precautions in order to keep that population down and away from our chickens. Because like Tom said, they can carry a lot of diseases and not only will they carry diseases into your chicken house, but they'll also do a lot of physical damage to your house with eating and chewing on things. So you'll notice that the grass line does not come all the way up to our house. 
and some houses you'll also see will have some type of rock laid um, if we don't give them a shelter area they're less likely to cross that boundary so you won't you'll notice that rodents are usually found in taller grass or somewhere that they can hide this takes that shelter away and prevents them from coming into your house you'll also notice this PVC pipe in between me and Tom so this is also a bait station and has bait in it that we will utilize to keep our um, rodents from being here. Um, this bait will generally be changed multiple times. You don't want to use the same bait over and over because they'll start to build tolerance to it. Um, they won't use the bait station. So these will be checked on a daily basis and our bait stations will also be changed as far as what we're utilizing. So everything that we've shown you falls into those three elements and you have to have all three. We showed you the locked doors, which gives us isolation. We are controlling our traffic control with a gate at the entrance to keep people in and out and to keep rodents and um, any birds that don't need to be in here. And then we showed you some elements of sanitation. All of this is in a commercial operation, but when we look at backyard operations, this is still really important to utilize for your backyard flocks as well. So you may not have coveralls in your backyard, um, but you can at least make sure that when you walk into your little operation in your backyard that you use the same shoes and we don't travel other places in those shoes. Maybe you use the same clothing over and over and don't utilize different clothing as you move in and out of that flock. You also need to worry about those wild birds. There's a lot that comes from fecal contamination in wild birds. So providing some type of shelter on the top so that fecal doesn't get into your um, flock or some kind of shelter that those birds can't run in. You still need to sanitize and make sure that you clean up any spilled feed and things like that in order to keep your rodent population, your fly population, all of things, these things down even in your backyard chickens because those backyard birds are just as important as your commercial bird. Um, everyone has their hand in it and it takes us all playing that part in order to keep all of our flocks healthy and happy. Until we see you again, health safe. Thank you.